We're fine here. We're all fine here. Uh, how are you? Hello. How's it going, everybody? Here we are with issue 47. And uh, this one will probably be interesting. So in this issue, we're going to talk about the Naboo J-Type 327 Nubian. Ah, oh, Nubian, yeah. So uh, then we're going to visit Tanab. So that will be interesting. And this down here, in the behind the scenes, will be uh, help add some weight to why we're going to, uh, what's it called? Tanab. That's what I thought. Hyperspace. Finally, we're going to talk about hyperspace. So that'll be cool. And then we're going to talk about all of this stuff. So we've got some parts. Let's go ahead and break out the parts. And it looks like we're going to be putting a lot of stuff on. So we've got some magnets. That should be useful, I'm sure. We've got these pieces and parts. Have no idea what all those are going to. Looks like a dashboard off of something. <laughs> uh, we've got some of these pieces and parts. There we go. We've got this here. All right. And these, we know these are our um, other, uh, what do you call those, landing gear covers. We have this piece here, and this piece here, along with, uh, nope, no screws this time. <clears throat> all right, so parts for the lower housing. So we're going to be putting all of this stuff on, and we're going to start here. So we are going to start here with this. So uh, if you were paying attention, uh, you would see, have seen a video where I talked about these. i um, curious if anybody knows what those are. These are military, we would call them jerry cans. So I want to talk about this for a little bit. <clears throat> so when they, they put together the Millennium Falcon, uh, we, we, we've kind of discussed this before, but I'll reiterate it. So when they put together the Millennium Falcon, what they did was they just did the shell and then they just started pulling in all of these other model parts. And uh, they just went and bought a bunch of different military stuff and cars and all this different kind of stuff. And what we're looking at here is two military jerry cans. This here almost looks like it was like a shovel upside down or something. But, yeah, it just goes to show, they just put, like, anything and everything on there. I had no idea that there was jerry cans on here. And I'm curious if anybody else would have recognized that. But my experience in the military, obviously, uh, <laughs> led me to notice what those were. So that's pretty interesting. All right. Now, let's go ahead and get this put together. So this, we'll test fit this real quick, and then we'll break out some glue. Um, and, yep, test fits. Perfect. All right. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the glue and I'm going to just put it inside here like that. We're going to hold it down as best we can. Uh, that way it doesn't try to pull back up or anything crazy like that. There we go. So that is attached. That's the first part we need to do. And now we turn the page. And now we attach it. And then from there, we're going to be attaching these other pieces. So I'll have those out ready to go. And we'll get going with all of that. There's going to be some screwing to be done. Okay. 
Okay, we are back. And so what we got to do, we've got all these here, and the, these all line up, and we just press it down. Something like that. And then we're going to flip it over. All right, there's those tin screws there. Um, while I'm here, uh, I went around and counted every screw that I put in. And unless I missed some, I even marked them with a green marker to hopefully not miss them. There was 123, I believe, screws that I put in when we did uh, the, in the last issue. So that's quite a few screws. Uh... So the first one will go on here. All right, uh, just a quick look, make sure we got them all. We got all of those, and so now it's time to work on this other end. So they said seven screws, but I think there's eight. Let's count them real quick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Maybe there is only seven. Uh, unless one of these was one. I don't recall those being one. All right. So both of these. So this piece here first, and that's going to go over this.
There we go. There we go. Whew. That was that was tough. All right. Now I'll take the plant on detail part five. This issue has eight fittings. That's this one here. Yep, eight. There's four inside. Four inside there, and then there's these ones on the outside. There we go. There's those parts. Awesome. Now, for the magnets. So, so first thing we'll do is we'll put the pegs in. There's four with my thumbprint. All right, so I will let that glue dry before I try to attach those by magnet. I don't want to pull anything out. Now for the final bits. Now we are going to put these parts on. Okay, so this part is going to go here. Hold that there for a second. There we go. All right. Guess what? That is everything. So let's see what we've done here. All right. So as you can see, we've done a fair amount. And let's just... Uh, Let's do a little close-up action, and uh, we can get a better look. And as we can see, this is really starting to bring out the details of this model. These should be dry enough now that we can place those in there. Somehow, somehow they go on there. Oh, 
Gotta put them on right. There we go. And that may be wrong, but as you can see, that really adds a lot to the back here. And then of course, we did the front up here. And that really adds a lot of detail. It gives good shape to these. Something like that, right? That's how that's going to go in there. Somewhere around there, anyway. That's what it's going to look like right there. So that looks pretty cool. This is starting to be the Millennium Falcon. Very cool. All right, let me mount you guys again. Okay, so we are mounted. And that is the end of this issue. So we've fitted all the rear machinery. We've put that together. And then that was this issue. We've still got a lot of these plant-on detail parts that I'm sure will be coming up sometime soon. And looky here. The next issue, we're going to get start getting the pieces of the pie for the top plating, which I've already got together. Um, but we're going to start getting some of the top plating and some of the, the framework. So I'm guessing we'll probably be working on a gun turret or putting some of those detail parts together or something like that. So that is the conclusion of the modeling portion of this issue. Thank you guys all very much for watching. Hopefully you're enjoying this. I added a little bit of kind of additional kind of camera work, if you'll want to say that. Hopefully that helps pay off a little bit and you guys can appreciate that extra work. Um, it's something that I, I feel like maybe you weren't getting all the details that you needed or what have you. And I wanted to make sure that we did get those details out there um, so you guys could really see it. Plus, it's a little bit more artistic, right? Um, and so we want to try to do the best quality that we can. I think that's the way they go. Yeah, this line right here. That line right there, that all lines up. Well, that's the way they go. All right. Thank you guys all very much for watching, and we will see you next time. May the Force be with you always.